Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started. First, coffee. Sumatra. Nice. You have to be in the mood for Sumatra. It's very, very smooth. Very low acid for those of you that are a, have a uh, sensitive stomach. Sumatra really is a good choice for you. Nice. I'll drink a second cup of that on the way to work this morning. Hey, how about that you-know-what? Something, isn't it? Five years vegan, plant-based, and demonizing meat. Me. Still moaning about weight in the good old days. I did one to two months of carnivore, and I was having a hard time picking out what clothes to wear out of my closet and lifting garbage bags filled with my larger clothes to donate to Goodwill. It's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? Well, I heard Mr. Young sing about her. I heard old Neil put her down. I hope Neil Young will remember a southern man don't need him around anyhow. Ronnie Van Zant, Leonard Skinner, 1974. Moses comes down the mountain a second time and says, I've got good news and I've got bad news. First, the good news. I got him down to ten commandments. Now the bad news. Adultery stays. Next thing you knew, there were tanks and armored vehicles rolling down the street. This is my weekly reminder that the old people used to say this and those who are from communist countries, used to say that. Next thing you knew, there were tanks and armored vehicles rolling down the streets. Just be aware that any videos that talk about you know what, prepping, or the social implications immediately get demonetized. Immediately. So the narrative is being shaped in real time. I'm not allowed to talk about you-know-what without being penalized by you-know-who. Dear politicians, on election day in November, we will remember you. That's a promise that we're going to keep. Here's a reality check for everybody in the United States. There's not a single politician that you elected that has any, any financial worries. They're guaranteed their money. They pay their bills. They get their food. They have their medical care. No problem. It's better than yours. It's better than mine. They don't have a single worry. None. The only worry they have is getting reelected this coming November. And you think that you elected somebody like you. They're like us, right? They represent us. I don't think so. Do you realize a person can get elected to Congress, work two years in Congress, because that's what the term is, if they want to, if they don't want to get reelected, they can work two years and get a full pension and full benefits for them and their families forever. They elect, they made that rule for themselves. Where in the world can you work for two years and then get a pension for the rest of your life and never have to work again? We will remember this in November. Nobody, nobody gets reelected. Nobody in the Senate, nobody in the Congress, nobody, nobody. Many years ago, I did sell cars. I'll never forget the old guy that walked in dressed in old clothes and literally sneakers, canvas sneakers that were ratty. Nobody, no salesman got up to assist him. Everyone was just standing there or sitting at their desks. But I did. I was new. What did I know? He knew what he wanted and he paid cash for his Ford King Rancher truck. 
I will never forget it. It was brown with brown leather inside. There was a day when people did not announce their wealth at all. Imagine that. Yesterday was a quiet day behind bars. For those of you that don't know, I took a job. I work in a prison a few days a week. It was very quiet in the prison as there was a reported a first case of you know what. So it was a pretty quiet day. I took a picture of me looking out the window of a prison. What's fascinating about that is this, is that literally our homes now, because of you know what, are prisons. And I went from one prison to a literal prison. Just a weird, it was just weird philosophically for me yesterday. Ham radio guy is my neighbor next door over in this direction. Is a ham radio guy. Has the big antenna. Talking with people all over the world for years, even before the internet. I wonder what kind of conversation they are having. But the ham radio guys, they're the smart ones. Remember, they're the guys that you made fun of. The ham radio club. Seventy years from now, you might be telling the story, and they controlled the entire country without firing one bullet. It's true. And the Constitution got suspended until further notice. Is there such thing as a crisis actor? I'm just wondering, what do you think? Put your answer down below. Do you think that the current you-know-what scenario makes men more thirsty, and why? 25% said yes, 30% said no, 11% said where do women at, 34% said I just read five books. I could build an army of warriors by asking one question, will your wife let you grow a beard? After speaking one-on-one -on -one to thousands of men in my career, my question separates the warriors from the peasants. Don't doubt me on that. I can't tell you how many times men have said to me, I would grow a beard, but my wife won't let me. What could I possibly say to that? And with that, stay calm. Emulate calm for your neighbors, for your family, Turn the TV off, get your news from reliable sources, and stay calm. And I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show. You are home in this you-know-what period of time for sanity, clarity, and you-know-what.